Hello, guys. Nice to meet you. Uh, uh, Acronis actually is not a startup, as much of the companies presented here. Uh, with Acronis is really big company with uh, 800 employees in more than 20 offices around the world. Uh, uh, and millions of customers and business clients, though it's still full of entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, Acronis is well known uh, as a provider of cloud uh, and on-premise backup of disaster recovery solutions, data storage, file sync and share solutions. Uh, of course, not all the uh, 400 engineers are working on the blockchain products, Though we apply a lot of efforts in this direction, and I would like to share with you uh, our vision to tell you about our achievements, use cases, and uh, the lessons we've learned. Our first product is uh, Acronis Notary. It's, uh, it's a platform that allows customers to store and exchange data in a safe manner with the guarantee of authenticity and integrity of this data. You may argue that, uh, the, mutability prop that the immutability property of the blockchain is not uh, in use, but what differs a whole product, which Acronis Notary is and the feature, is the set of uh, interfaces and uh, features that allows customers to solve their problems. Uh, Notary has a combination of unique features such as synchronization uh, between nodes, uh, advanced search of protected met metadata, built-in verification of stored data, and high throughput algorithm. I will tell you in more details about it later. Uh, basically, uh, the blockchain, the best applied for cases where multiple parties and e multiple entities are involved, and especially when those entities do not completely trust each other and there is no trusted intermediary. Uh, that's why uh, we think that our solution is best used for a uh, consortium that needs to exchange data and sometimes big chunks of data uh, that are impractical to store in a blockchain. Uh, you may argue that there is, uh, for example, IPFS for that, right? Uh, but it's, IPFS is good to share uh, photos of your dog or uh, your white papers, but when you deal with medical records and personal data, you would definitely prefer to uh, to deal with something more secure. Uh, so we found that our product works well with uh, consortiums where uh, data is shared between the parties. Uh, let me say a few words about uh, features of the product. First, the certificate. Of course, uh, when you uh, anchor your file in a uh, uh, in a, a fingerprint of your data in in the blockchain, uh, it's not it, it's not a new feature. Of course, every one of you knows about it. But uh, what uh, differs our uh, certificate, our product, uh, our notarization certificate allows you to verify authenticity of your file, your safe by uh, provide be uh, providing you with all the necessary information for this and the certificate contains all the necessary information for this. Uh, and you can prove authenticity and the t integrity of the data even though you would have stopped using our application, so it could be done independently. So verification could be done manually or by using uh, the API we provide you. Uh, verification can also, could also be done independently by a third party. Search. Uh, another necessary feature is the, uh, is the search. Uh, as you know, it's uh, blockchain and Ethereum itself uh, are not very good for this. So we provide this feature for you. You can, uh, you can, uh, uh, sometimes you need uh, to know who and when uploaded the file to the storage, as well as uh, you need to filter your data by 
date, time, and status, for example. Uh, we developed this convenient user interface and REST, REST API for this. Another feature is uh, synchronization. Uh, we found that in many cases, especially uh, when uh, private blockchains are used, uh, parties want to have this uh, searchability uh, on premises, on their, on their node. Uh, that's why uh, that's why we built this feature that allows uh, users to synchronize metadata uh, metadata using ethereum blockchain mechanisms optimization it's uh, also not a big news for you that blockchains have a limited throughput and in case when uh, you need to notarize a big amount of files, like thousands or millions of files, as we did uh, in our use cases, uh, this uh, limit should not stop you. Uh, moreover, it would be very costly with public blockchains if you would notarize each file in, in the blockchain. Uh, that's why we use uh, Patricia Miracle Tree structure uh, with vari variable uh, chunk size to solve this problem. So, uh, how does it work? There are two basic scenarios. The first one, uh, the second one, is when you upload a file in a storage. Uh, the storage sends events to the Acronis notary, which in terms uh, communicates with Ethereum blockchain and receives uh, uh, data from Ethereum blockchain uh, proving that the data was recorded. Uh, then uh, this metadata is stored in Acronis notary metadata storage and distributed between uh, the nodes. Uh, the second scenario is you can use this product with your own application. Not on, uh, it is not necessary to, to use it with the storage. You can use any your application and send uh, events via REST API or uh, MPQ to the notary storage. Then you can uh, search and uh, send verification requests to Acronis Notary and uh, to the blockchain. Uh, how Ethereum is used here, uh, we uh, use smart contracts for data protection, events uh, for synchronization, Merkle, Patricia, T for optimization of stored data, and proof of work in the public blockchains and proof of authority in uh, private blockchains. Uh, Acronis uses Ethereum and Ethcore parity as the main blockchain components. Uh, the product is built using a robust microservice architecture. Product can be deployed uh, in the cloud, in the Acronis cloud, or in Asia, or on premise. Uh, let me say a few words about use cases. Some of them are already in production. Uh, in the production stage, some still in, uh, in the pilot stage. First storage, uh, we found that there are several very good scenarios for it, uh, for this usage. Uh, for example, it, it, it could be used for long-term archiving, especially in the industries, in the industries which are uh, heavily regulated. Uh, banking industry, healthcare, uh, it also could be used for, uh, for uh, notarization of uh, footage from security CCTV cameras. Uh, another use case which is already in production mode, uh, OpenPixel is an open source tracking software for mobile advertisement. Advertisers, publishers, and ad advertisement networks do not usually trust each other. Uh, if you, you probably face this problem already. Uh, it's industry when sometimes you download logs and, or uh, your provider uh, gives you logs and you do not uh, really believe that it's, uh, this information was not altered. Uh, 
our solution increases trust between parties by uh, notarization of the logs. It guarantees that data was not manipulated uh, afterwards and it's uh, actually it's not for fun, it's for money because this solution decreases transaction cost between parties. Uh, smart contracts for uh, a company, uh, for a holding company. This uh, case is also in the production mode. Uh, how it works, there is a holding company which was developed by acquisition of different companies. That's why uh, there is a zoo of different ERP systems within the holding company. And they need to integrate some features like they need to approve payments uh, going from each company in, in the headquarter. Uh, actually, they had two, two options. The first one is to hire, uh, is to hire consultants or to consultancy company to integrate all the ERP systems. It would be very costly and would take a long time. Another solution, uh, uh, it turned out to be very simple. It was uh, the integration was, was completed within less than within a month. Uh, uh, ERP systems was integrated using our notary feature. And what is more important, it allows uh, all the companies to be sure that the data was not manip manipulated. Uh, the major takeaway from this use case is that usually uh, uh, it, that usually big companies consist of several entities which do not completely trust each other. For example, each entity in the holding company always has its own uh, CTO, CEO, who are responsible for uh, PNL and budget. Uh, the last use case uh, began for uh, backend for uh, bank consortium in Russia. Uh, banks exchange information uh, between each other. Uh, for example, information about uh, people who tried to fraud them or uh, exchange information on credits issued to clients and their client score. The major takeaway from this use case is that uh, usually companies in many industries uh, find, have already found the way to arrange communication for major use cases like uh, banks already have uh, Visa, MasterCard or uh, SWIFT because they cannot live without payments. But when it comes to exchange information in, in uh, less uh, important cases like exchange information about fraudsters, they just cannot arrange consortiums because they would need to arrange a company, elect a CEO, distribute shares, uh, manage the company and so on. It's, it's so cumbersome that no one is going to do it. And they also do not like to use a single provider uh, to, to help them. That's why uh, our solution can help big companies in uh, not only big companies in many industries to arrange consortiums. Uh, it is very pleasant to, to show you uh, smiling faces of our clients. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm closing. And uh, by the way, uh, 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 if uh, someone wants to share your ideas or ask me questions, uh, you can find me in the hall trading your questions or your ideas for this uh, funny t-shirts. I still have some. Thank you. Thank you very much, Victor. Much appreciated.